Hello, my dear students, parents, and all the viewers. I welcome you all in the Electronics and Communication Department of Kite Group of Institutions, Ghaziabad. We all know that Kite Group of Institutions is one of the best institutions in Delhi and CR as well as in Northern India. And do you have any awareness of Electronics and Communication Department in Kite Group of Institutions? Well, let me tell you today about Electronics and Communication Department. ECE Department is known for its academic excellence, giving high packages to students and producing a high grade engineers in the field of electronics. As we all know that the electronics industry is rising and we all are aware that our neighbor, neighboring country China is producing a large amount of electronics good. So why we won't be able to produce that much of electronics good? Because we have lack of awareness in this field. And today in this scenario, people are driven towards computer science department. People are driven towards software industries. Well, that is good, but not good in terms of manufacturing, in terms of producing our own good. And it is also not good for the future aspects where our honorable prime ministers have assured us that the product which will be going to be developed in our country will be make in India. How do we do that? How do we accomplish that achievement? So we can only do that by the help of participating in the events where electronics are involved. And Getting educated from electronics and communication departments gives you the very good diaspora to flourish. Now, today I'm going to discuss about some of the facts, some of the advantages, as well as some of the, some of the basic features of electronics and communication departments, which will groom you all in this field. Now, first let me discuss about what are the necessary information, what are the necessary subjects, what are the important tools, educations which is being provided to you by ECE department. First, we provide you the teachings of semiconductors. As we all know that semiconductors market across the world is a huge market. And we all are aware about the shortage of uh, integrated circuits. So I think all of you might have heard about ICs. Each and every electronic gadget we look around us is made up of integrated circuits, which we, in a simple word, we call it as chip. So there is an entire industry for designing the chip, which is called chip industry. So the first and the foremost advantage which is being provided to you by electronics and communication department is to enter inside the chip industry. There are multiple chip industries like Samsung India, Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, Asus, Hewlett Packard, Texas Instruments and National Instruments. Here in Kite Group of Institutions, all these companies used to take our students and provide the package of 14 to 20 lakhs per annum. Now let us discuss the next vertical of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department. The next vertical of ECE department is networking. The companies which used to visit networking department are Cisco as well as Nokia Siemens networks. And you know how much package they, have, they used to give us? They used to offer 16 to 18 lakhs per annum to the fresher students of electronics and communication department. The third vertical from ECE department is communication industry. Companies like Airtel, Reliance Geo as well as Vodafone which offers the good package of 8 to 10 lakh rupees per annum. I think it will glorify the student being a fresher. Now let us discuss about some of the greatest or perhaps some of the best advantages of getting educated from ECE department. ECE department just not gives you the services and jobs in the private sector, but it also gives you the services and jobs in the government sector. Talking about the government sector, first let us discuss about defense services. So when defense services used to visit our campus, 
defense services includes indian military indian navy indian air force indian coast guard services in all these defense services the student of electronics and communication departments are eligible and they used to take part in that entire process and finally turn turn up as a commissioned officer after defense services there is another or next level advantages which ec department provides you is to appear in a gate examination i think all of you might have heard about gate examination which is the platform where from where you can go for your higher education from where you can go for opt opting uh, some public sector units so i'm going to discuss about gate examination that what you will get after qualifying your gate examination so once a student prepares for a gate examination he or she will be preparing for indian engineering services simultaneously and as we all are aware that indian engineering services is one of the elite services across our nation so the student ranking very good in gate examination used to get a call from public sector units like bharat heavy electricals limited bharat electronics limited hindustan aeronautical limited oil natural gas corporation ongc airport authority steel authority of india limited national thermal power corporation drdo and indian space research organization so these are the public sector units or we can call it as navratan units of our country which used to give our students an exposure as well as the job opportunity after qualifying the gate rank, uh, after qualifying the gate examination with good rank or with very good ranks now if suppose a person won't be able to get a call from the public sector units then there is another option which has been open for the student of a uh, uh, student qualifying the gate exam is to pursue the higher education or to pursue his mtech the masters of technology from some of the national important institutes like iits nits as well as triple its some of the iits where our students of electronics and communication used to get enroll themselves are iit bombay iit madras iit delhi iit kanpur and iit guwahati apart from that there are multiple nits where the students of ec department type group of institutions have got enrolled themselves like nit trichy nit suratkal nit warangal nit alabad etc and apart from nits there are multiple triple its where students of electronics and communications are flourishing their future now if suppose you are getting much lower rank uh, in gate examination then there is another option which has been opened for you and that is to get yourself enrolled in some central universities the main advantage of getting yourself enrolled in central universities are the central universities offers you the higher education with least fees structure the fee structure of all the central universities is under 1000 rupees so with merely 1000 rupees you can you can uh, you know you can complete any year and it's a two year course so just by spending 2 or 3000 rupees you can complete your entire degree of masters of technology and just completing just after completing your masters of technology from some central universities from some iits from some nits you will be able to get some handsome packages from the multinational or some public sector units so these are the advantages of electronics and communication departments i think let us discuss about the last but not the least but very significant uh, parameter of very significant domain of electronics and communication which is automation sector as we all know that in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming days uh, uh, the market of 1.3 trillion dollars will going to be get invested in the automation sector and electronics and communication will going to play a very predominant role in the field of automation so when we talk about computer science computer science is just producing a source code but when we talk about electronics then electronics spreads everywhere each and every gadget we used to we supposed to see around us is just made up of electronics so electronics is everywhere and just by having this uh, fact that electronics spreads everywhere 
we can assume the importance of electronics and communication in our day to day life. So the field of electronics is very much flourishing, but people ha are having very much less awareness of this particular field because most of the population is driven towards computer science. But let me discuss about the very and essential importance of electronics is that it is the core engineering. After graduating from electronics and communication, you would be able to get services in software companies. You would be able to get services in public sector units. You would be able to get services in Indian engineering services in some elite uh, PSUs and in anywhere you want, you would be able to, uh, you know, get yourself uh, adjust into that particular atmosphere or you would be able to get some good opportunities to pursue your higher education from abroad because electronics industry in India in the upcoming days will going to get flourished from a very exponential rate. So the role what China has played in past 20 years, the same role India will going to be playing in the next 20 years. We are the youngest population of the world and we are ready to act as a workforce engine for the rest of the world to drive our nation forward. In the upcoming days, the industries like semiconductors, communications, VLSI, chip designing, all these industries will use to get uh, established in our own nation. But there will be a lack of engineers because very few of us uh, are having the awareness of electronics. So this is an urge or perhaps this is an appeal to all of you to come to electronics and communication department and be the part of this wonderful journey. Thank you.